Hi guys, Seven Worlds Gaming here, bringing you a new video of the iOS 8 and its new features. The first thing I'm actually going to be showing you guys is messages and how messages works, and kind of some of the new features from messages too. So the main thing here today with messages is that pretty much the whole layout has been updated. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. If you have a group message, you're actually able to turn off um, notifications on it. So if you, if you ever run into that group message that just keeps sending messages back and forth and you just don't want to hear the ding or anything like that, you can actually turn that off now, which is pretty awesome. And also the main feature I want to kind of show you guys right now is that all your pictures are being narrowed down to just one spot. You know how before what you used to go and check, um, you would have to pretty much scroll all the way up and find the find pretty much all the pictures you wanted to see. Well now, if you go into details on your top right hand side and you scroll down, you will see all your attachments here and you can just tap on it and it will pretty much load it up. And then as you can see here, this is what I was telling you guys about, do not disturb. You can either turn that on and what that will actually do is it won't notify you if you receive that message, but it will still show you there that you have a pending message, but it won't make that that loud noise. And as you can see there next to next to the name of your contact, it will show pretty much like a little moon. Just saying there, do not disturb. You can always go back and turn that off. Also, one of the cool things about this now is that you can actually send voice messages now. All you have to do is on the bottom right hand side, just press on the microphone. And then you can pretty much talk, just say anything you want. And then you can stop there, you can play it. And then you can pretty much talk, just say anything you want. And then you can either cancel it by pressing the X there or just sending it by pressing the icon. And that will send it to the other person. Once that other person receives that message, they'll be pretty much able to hear it. If they have iOS 8, keep in mind they do need to have iOS 8 to do this. You cannot do this in previous versions. And then I'm pretty sure you'll be waiting there for the other person to message you back, which you can see there they're currently doing so. And then they'll send it to me. And there, there you go. I will receive it. You can either raise your phone up to your ear, or you can just press pretty much the play button there, or pause it, whichever you want to do there. Either one will pretty much work. Now, that's one of the cool things that you can do there. And like I said, details is pretty awesome now. Because what you can do to there, the attachments, you know, it shows there the, the voice messages we have sent back and forth. You can also send them your current location. This will come in handy if you're ever trying to find maybe one of your family members. Or maybe if you're partying with friends and you're trying to figure out where they are in downtown. They can kind of send you your location or you can even share your own location. Uh, you can share it indefinitely. Share it until the end of the day or share for one hour. I honestly don't like sharing my location unless I really have to, <laughs> but I mean, like I said, it, it will all come in handy there. And as I actually showed you guys earlier, the, the messages there, pretty much the voice messages, they will expire after two minutes. Also, I mean, you can always down to messages. In message, messages, you're just going to scroll down a little bit more right there. You can actually tell it how long you want to keep your messages for forever in one year or 30 days then you can go back race to listen that pretty much if you raise your phone as you were answering your phone you you will start playing the audio message or if you want that if you want to pretty much keep that voice message you can set it up there to never if not it will pretty much expire after two minutes which just depending up to you what what kind of phone you have and how much memory you have as well I will recommend just to leave it to expire after two minutes. That's after you listen to it. Obviously, if you still haven't listened to it, then it won't it won't expire there. All right, guys. Now what I'm actually gonna show you here is gonna be something new in the Photos app, which is gonna be what you can actually edit. So let's say you wanna go here into this test Apple album that I have created and you want to maybe go here to this awesome view of clouds you can actually make it as a favorite by just tapping there on that on that heart in the middle of your screen if not you can just go ahead and do that there you can actually go to edit 
Now this is the cool thing about this here. You can resize it and this is something we've never seen before. You know how usually you don't you might have taken a picture and it's a little bit sideways. You can now readjust that and make it just the way you actually want it to be instead of actually having to pretty much turn it around this way. So I mean it, it kind of gives you more freedom here of how you want to set up the picture instead of just your your normal stuff that you're used to seeing. Then you can actually go here to pretty much set up the exposure. So I mean it's gonna be helpful in regards to that. Highlights, you can move it around there. You can see there kind of how it changes a little bit. And then you can go into shadows, change that as well. Brightness, you can change this also. It's pretty cool. This is probably gonna be a lot better for people that use Instagram than using the actual Instagram filters. You can really get in depth and see what you can actually do. Like you can bring up the, that actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> And then from here you can go to color, set up the color there as well. Then you can actually go back, saturation once again, you can change that there. You can change the contrast as well. You can change the cast, which that kind of looks kind of cool too. And then if you want to just go ahead and select the black and white, you can either move it around or what you can actually do here, let me show you something cool. For the black and black and white, it's let's say we want to select here, and you just want to set it up black and white right away. On the top left hand side, that B and W button, tap on that, and it will automatically make it black and white for you. So that's something definitely to keep an eye on. And then you also have here your pretty much your filters, but I think you're gonna be able to play with it a lot more now, and I'm pretty sure people are gonna be able to use that a lot more as well. And if you have any cool pictures of like the moon. This is gonna come in so much in handy, like you can make it darker, brighter, whichever. So it's, it's a really cool feature now for the Photos app that you can play around with. But yeah, keep an eye on it. And I'm actually gonna be releasing another video here going into more depth into every app. So just look in the description, the links will be down here. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment with feedback of what you guys actually want to see and I'll be also reviewing the iPhone 6 coming up soon and re like I said getting more into the iOS 8 so you guys can check it out alright alright have a good one guys take care